This is Stephanie from StatisticsHowTo.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to calculate a normal distribution probability in Excel. I've got a question here concerning bacteria counts in a city's water supply. In general with these types of normal distribution word problems you'll be given a mean, a standard deviation, and the questions will ask you either the less than probability, the more than, or the between, and I'm going to show you how to do all three in Excel. Less than 600. I'm going to use the norm dist function, so click on an empty cell, click on the insert function button, type norm dist, N-O-R-M-D-I-S-T, and click go. This gives you a list of functions, norm dist should be up the top, click OK. Our X value, we wanted less than 600, so 600 is our X value. The mean was given in the question as 500. The standard deviation was given as 100. And type true in the cumulative box. The only time you want to type false there is when you have a single value that you want to find a single probability for. You're not likely to be doing that very often click the OK button and there is the answer for the first question. This is our less than probability, 0.84. The second part of the question is asking us what is the probability the bacteria count will be more than 600? I'm just going to show you a quick sketch I did earlier. This blue area is the probability of up to 600. That's what we just calculated. What we're interested in is this white area here. We're seen as the value under the curve for the total probability is always 1. All we have to do is subtract this blue area from 1. So I'm going to go back to the worksheet, type the equal sign for a formula, 1 minus the result that we just calculated. I'm clicking on that cell, press enter, and this is the probability for more than 600. Finally we want to figure out this between probability and the question is asking us what is the probability that the bacteria count will be between 400 and 600. The easiest way to visualize this is to look at a sketch. Here's a sketch of what we're looking for, this between probability of between 400 and 600. We already calculated up to 600 and we already calculated this y area over 600. Well, the normal distribution graph is symmetrical, so this white area here above 600 is going to be the same as this white area below 400. That's because 400 is one standard deviation away, and 600 is also one standard deviation away from the mean. But all I'm going to do is subtract the larger value we calculated from the smaller value, and that will give us the between. So the answer to question number three is going to be this first value of less than 600 minus this second value of more than 600 which also equals less than 400. This is the probability for between 400 and 600. That's how to calculate normal distribution probability in Excel. Visit us at statisticshowto.com for more examples of normal distribution and everything else elementary statistics.